I think I've found the best job at River Cottage. Oh, Jim, I completely agree. Jim here is the uh, chief vegetable tester <laughs> and picker. <laughs> yeah, you've come just before the, the big summer glut, but things like peas are, are here in abundance, so um, this is a good time of year. So it's all organic too, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, so everything's organic. So, um, so yeah, we've got to, uh, got to make sure we keep everything, everything nice. So everywhere you go, <laughs> there's always an Australian. I met Matt here today. Good day, mate. Matt, how long have you been here for? A couple of months now. Did you watch the series on TV? Of course, yeah, 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 for many years now. Watching so, it so for develop. You, what is it? What is it that sort of brought you to, to, come, to come here? I suppose, many things, I suppose. Just Hugh's whole, like his belief on food and uh, sustainability and you know, raising the animal from scratch. So anyone who's seen the series, this is a kitchen. This is where it all happens. Hear that sizzle, some meat. Big chunk of meat there on the, in the fry pan. We've got berries here, summer berries. Smoke, lovely smells. The River Cottage series was really impressive for me. It was one of the first shows where someone moved from the city, go to the country, grow their own food. It, it was really great and it's been copied since then. I'm currently with Gelf and he's been here for three years, head chef. Gelf, tell me, how is it, is it spreading around the world? Like this, this is a very unique place where you've got the courses, you've got everything happening. Are you aware of it sort of, you know, people coming in and taking it elsewhere? Yeah, I think, I think the idea itself is um, such a good one, such a simple one, that it's easy for people to pick up. And it makes sense to a broad spectrum of people as well. So yeah, we get people from all over the world coming here and then taking this message, whether they set it up as a business or just start, you know, change their lifestyle and that automatically kind of folds out into the rest of the population. Because um, all we're doing really here is taking a small step back in time, not really a huge one, maybe only 40 or 50 years, um, where we would be, for, you know, everybody would have a little patch of land, everybody ha would, would be growing organically, they wouldn't be buying f fertilizers or pesticides, and everybody knew what food was, rather than everything being sanitized in little packages and covered in polystyrene or cling film. Um, they knew where beef came from and, and milk came from and what the tops of plants looked like rather than just the fruit. We just ate at River Cottage Canteen. Yeah. And I mean, one word, fresh. Yeah. You, you can taste fresh. Yeah. You know, you. I mean, I mean, this time of year, um, I mean, we're in the middle of summer, really, in England, and it's a great time of year to be chef. It's an easy time of year because we can just pick anything from this garden and, it, and it's ready to eat without cooking. I mean, we're serving dinner for 70 tonight and a lot of the stuff won't, won't ever see a pan or any kind of heat uh, because it's at its best and, it, and, and you don't really need to pick it till just before you use it. Um, with the big supply chains now, and I talk to local producers around here, a lot of their food gets picked in Devon then travels up to a market in central England and then travels back down to be served in Devon restaurants. Wow. So it's kind of a, it's kind of got to that stage where we really need to sort of cut that, <laughs> cut that unnecessary step out and just get back to, to restaurants dealing directly with suppliers like I do. For anyone who doesn't know what happens here, there's about 30 different courses, aren't there? Yep. Can you tell me a little bit about some of the courses on offer? Yeah, so um, today we've got a fish skills course on. So obviously being on the south coast, we've got access to the best fish in England. Uh, very, uh, It's a, a marine protected zone as well, so like I say, the fish stocks are incredible. And I saw a smoking, you were smoking? Yeah, so we've got the cold smoker going, we run a course on smoking and curing, so um, obviously we've got, we're, we're quite a, obviously a farm, so we get gluck crops, so we've got our pigs, you know, we, we get quite a lot all ready at the same time, so we have to learn how to make parma hams and salamis and chorizos and smoked bacon, back bacon, all of those different things, which obviously let us keep it longer through the uh, through the year, which which we, you would have been doing before refri refrigeration, really. And you mentioned that, there, you know, there's people who visit from all around the world, mainly where the show's been broadcast. Yeah. Australia. What, what are the big air countries that are sort of taking it back home? Um, well, really Denmark, because I mean they're they're really into it anyway. With Noma, uh, they're sort of upcoming with wild forage foods and natural. Um, Australia and New Zealand, the two another two big ones for us, uh, really um, quite key. Although we've got River Cottage Australia, River Cottage UK is still really big um, and still really well followed over there. Um, so those are the three really main countries. Mm -hmm. 